In tonight's On the Arise, being an eco-friendly fashionista has never been so easy. There are more options than ever if you want to be stylish, yet environmentally friendly, too. Now, one of the many new companies weaving sustainability into their clothing lines is Zadie. The online fashion site's founder, Maxine Beda, joins us to talk about the company's design philosophy. Welcome to Arise Exchange. Thanks and this is me. really a big deal here. I mean, you've, you've brought actually some fabrics here with ex explain what these fabrics are these these, these are t-shirts yes yeah, so this is our uh, new t-shirt it launched today uh -huh. uh, and what we're doing is we're bringing a new level of transparency into production mm -hmm. so we don't just talk about it being organic cotton which it is we actually break down all the way from the farm to the spinning to the dyeing to the cutting to the sewing exactly how this t-shirt came to be so well, I, I, I want to talk about that because I, a lot of people including myself really are not aware of, of, of what kind of impact we talk about food we talk about pollution uh, gasoline those kinds of things fossil fuels but making clothes really has a big impact on the environment. yeah actually the fashion industry is the second most polluting industry in the world second, really second only to oil. So it really is highly connected with the environment. Mm -hmm. uh, the factories that are used, especially in fast fashion, uh, tend to be in really the dirtiest environmental conditions. So what happens is you're really relying heavily on coal um, and that's contributing to global warming. Okay, when you say relying heavily on coal, say for instance, this this T-shirt here, yep. I would assume is cotton. Yeah. So by by coal, what I'm saying is the factories, whether it's the spinning mills, mm -hmm. they tend to be in China. That's where the vast majority of the product that mm, we wear is China, made. China, China, China. And so what we're trying to do with Zadie is really show an alternative. We're showing mm -hmm. that you can know what your supply chain is. Uh, you can feel really great about it. So uh, this T-shirt, the cotton, comes from an organic cooperative in Texas and is spun, milled, dyed in North Carolina. And we actually introduce you to the people who are making our clothing. Okay, not only that, we're talking about some of the sweatshops and conditions that exist around the world. Of course, uh, the 24th is the two-year anniversary, of course, of the Reina Plaza, the factory uh, complex collapse there, where, you know, it was just deadly over there. So, you know, this all comes and plays right in on time. This is great. I guess the question is, it always comes down to money, Maxine. How much does it cost to produce a shirt like this? Would it be any more or less than a shirt that is not eco-friendly? Well, it's a little bit more for us, uh, but it's not more for the consumer. We're a direct-to-consumer site, so we're able to pass the savings on to the consumer. This T-shirt is $36, so we really make it uh, affordable for the customer to wear, and it's not something you can see. There's, You can even kind of turn it inside out, uh -huh. and you can really see... We can hold this up here. Yep, sure. On our cameras and see. All of the details. If you look at fast fashion... Here. Uh, if you turn the product inside out, you can actually see some of the seams yeah. coming apart, even on the shelf, before really? you even bought it. Mm -hmm. Wow. If you take something of ours, you're going to see that the stitches yeah. are there, the quality of the material is really there, so it's a product that's made to last for a very long time, yeah. not just for one season. It, it looks good, but you, know, you said something really key, Maxine. You know, it costs more for us, meaning the, the, the manufacturer. And I guess the question is, you know, the fashion business is a multi-billion dollar business. Are, are, do you think that companies are willing to spend more money to save the environment? Well, what we're seeing is that there's a whole new customer base that's coming about. It's the same customer that's looking for organic food. It's the same customer that's going to yoga. They want to feel connected. They want that information. They want to feel good about the purchases that they're making. Mm -hmm. So for a brand to be relevant in the future, to connect with this new customer, uh -huh. they're going to have to care about the environment. Okay, what about high fashion? T-shirts are fine. I, mean, I love this. You know, but What about high fashion? Do you see perhaps a connection there where they can make some of those huge and high fashions or those runway models look good with, with eco-friendly clothes? Yeah, we're seeing some really fantastic um, experiments even on the luxury side. So Mayette is a fantastic company and what they're doing is they're a true luxury brand. They're uh -huh. working with artisans around the world, so really elevating what that craft is helping those communities and producing luxury clothing as well. Well, this is fantastic, Maxine. i got to tell you, thank you much for this. But next time when you come on our show, bring a, a T-shirt and extra large. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Ahead, why going green for some companies have many seeing red when Arise Exchange returns.